All right, y'all, what is up? I am out here getting one last hoorah in for some northern smallmouth. And I just caught a nice 18 and change. Didn't have the camera on. It's cold, it's 37 degrees. Wasn't sure how fast I was gonna be able to find them. Um, but sure enough, right here in this opening with the wind blowing across, I uh, managed to find a fish. Got bit once and managed to land a second one here on the uh, jig, the Brian Schmitz Bates uh, football head jig. I got that with a little craw on there. So we're gonna keep throwing that around. I would like to get on some moving baits, but if you get bit on the jig, come on, you gotta keep throwing the jig. There we go. A rig fish. <laughs> Pike, of course. Thought it felt a little small. There we go, finally. It's been at least an hour. Decent little 17 er probably. I'll take it. Nice fish. On the uh, Brian Schmidt Bates football head jig, a little finesse jig. He got that one good. Took my craw, it's my only one I got. 17 and a half. I've got another car of some sort. Little beaver be just fine. They like that green. Cut a little bit of this off though. Two, three, four, five. So I'm out here fishing with, I got an 8 to 1 Dio of Fuego and I got that on my 6.8 Legend Tournament St. Croix medium heavy rod. I've still got braid actually spooled up underneath this fluorocarbon so it's not casting the greatest. I wanted a really long leader a couple weeks ago. So I'm not getting super bomb far casts but if I do that I can't really feel anything anyway. So, uh, let's see if we can find another one out here. I figured right at the top of this little grassy point, or at least the opening, there might be something hanging out. The wind blowing right into us. And make no mistake, guys, it is cold. Even with a five, six mile an hour wind, whatever it is, it's not very much. It was only... I want to say 45 or so when I got out here and with this water it's 48 degrees the wind blowing off it it's not a very warm kind of deal out of here but now we got the sun I'm hoping oh there's one I'm hoping the sun doesn't 
Killer. Oh, he came off. That was a good one. <sighs> he ran right at me. I was saying, I hoping, I'm hoping the sun doesn't kill our bite, but as soon as the sun's come out and I've been over here, I got two bites in a row. It's not super deep right there. I'm only sitting in five or so feet of water, but hit pretty much in the same place as the other one. There's got to be a couple of them stacked up. Yep, there we go. That's a better fish. Oh yeah, that's a real nice one. On the jig, well, actually about the same size. Probably 17 and change. Thick fish though, he slammed it. He slammed it, I mean look at that. Hook just perfect. Hopefully you guys can see that. Nice fish, nice fish. Okay. One more look at this guy. Get him back in the water and go see if we can't catch another one right there. Give you guys a little better look at this jig here. Got a nice football head. It's got that nice bucktail material um, with some silicon skirt as well. And it's got a, a you know, with the silicon, it's got a, just a nice couple streaks of chartreuse. And I found in that cold water Middle of the winter, even. Now, something about that chartreuse is real attractive to the fish. A friend of mine, Paul, one of the best smallmouth anglers I know, maybe the best, throws a little swim bait and he always dips his tails in chartreuse, especially in cold water, like this. Winter time, late fall, and he just kills them, I tell you. Kills them. So this is, you know, a little adaptation, kind of based on that knowledge. There we go. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Hit it soft. Look at him go. Oh yeah. That's a solid fish. We're done. There we go. That's a little bigger. Look at all those black specks. I wonder what those are. It's a nice one. He's gotta go 18 or so. Oh yeah, 18 easy. 18 and a half. One last look at that one. Get him back in the water. All right. That's fun. Let's go get another one.
Oh, nice fish. 17 and a half. Nice fish. There goes my jig. Well guys, turned off the camera because it's been super slow. Switched to a dark sleeper, been trying to figure something out. Caught this guy. That's a nice one. Running this dark sleep over shell beds out here, hard bottom. And I just couldn't get a bite, but finally managed to get this one in the boat. 18 and a quarter, good fish. All right guys, one more look and we'll get this one back in the water. Man, I was about to give up on that cast and he whacked it. I was not in a good position for that. Large mouth, nice large mouth. Look how deep he took that. Oh, come back, come back. <laughs> come here, okay. Whew. That large mouth, that's a nice one. Eighteen incher. Let him go in the sun over here. Nice fish. There we go. Feels like a good one. Right in that spot from this morning. Oh yeah. Well, not really, but still fun to catch. Just barely hooked. Nice little 17er.
right guys, time to head back to the launch, drive home, got a four plus hour drive ahead of me, all for this one day of fishing, and uh, overall I think it went pretty well. Double digit fish, all, almost all of them were over 17 inches. I think only two of those were shorter than 17. Anyway, as I was saying, pretty good day overall. Lots of fish over 17 inches, nothing over 19. Had some in the uh, mid 18 range. Which, you know, is fine. Those are all awesome, fun fish, especially this time of year. When it's 48 degrees out, air temperature, and the water temperature's 48, and the wind's blowing, it's cold. It doesn't really feel like fishing season, so really nice to get out there and catch a handful of them, even though it, it did take the whole day. They did not seem to be super stacked, or if they were, they weren't biting in those stacks, and the isolated fish I was picking off, um, you know, Weren't few and far between, but definitely weren't back to back to back. So happy to have caught as many as I did and gonna head back to the launch here and think about a good day on the drive home.